Happy holidays, and let's get one more Christmas theme painting in before the time's up. I need a mask off our bell using the same old soap and water trick to save my brush. Two drops of soap into water. Now while that totally dries, here's the brushes and colors used. First we want to wet the entire background because we're going to be doing wet and wet. Now we're going to mix a good kind of dark blue black, you can use Payne's gray or indigo uh, with a touch of burnt umber, some olive green, uh, we're going to do a permanent yellow and Prussian blue for the light green mix, and then cadmium red for the berries. Now wet and wet we will put a very soft background of our mixes. Now we can start adding in some of our other colors into the wash. This is going to suggest those pines and berries. One of my simple techniques for texture is splatter into the wet wash with a bunch of clean water. Uh, this will create some pretty cool balloons. You can actually mix it up further by splattering more of your colors into the wet wash too. Uh, I just like the look of it a lot. Also helps if you've gotten out of control with the clean water. Here you're going to use your favorite scraper tool. Uh, anything with a sharp tip really. My go-to is this trusty $2 triangle, uh, but anything sharp will work. And I'm just kind of scraping out small sprigs, twigs. You get the gist of it. I'm going to switch to a sharper number four round right here. And creating some more rigid pines with the permanent yellow and Prussian blue mix.
Right here you can vary your pine colors with some darker paints. Seriously though, why don't you have a heat gun yet? I've done the testing and while it may fade your colors, it's very minimal. The time saving is well worth it. After removing the masking fluid, let's let's add some more masking fluid to cover the ringer. And while that dries, I will clean up this disgusting palette to give me more room for gold mixes. This is gonna be a watery mix of yellow ochre and a touch of burnt umber for the first wash. Now while my first gold mix is still wet, I want to start building my darker tones by adding more burnt umber to the mix. You want to really pay attention to lighting. Keep your light spots and highlights. Lift if the dark spots start to take over with a clean damp brush. Watercolor can sometimes dry really fast on you, so pay attention to your wetness and get a feel for spots that might need action quicker.
keep your edges soft in between layers for less awkward color transitions and a softer feel to the overall painting. Painting in layers from light to dark can really make those original highlights pop.
Now here's where I decided my bell was not gold enough to my eye, so once it's dried you can choose to do a full glaze of that yellow ochre to bring that gold out more. Don't forget we need to paint our little knocker, so remove the masking fluid and remember where your light is coming in from. With a zero brush you can get a little finer details with this. I'm going to keep the light on the left side and have some dark on the stem towards the right. few final touches to finish this up but I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday and a happy new years I would also like to thank you for your support and stopping by the channel uh, use your brush to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you soon